Hey y'all, I Rick Sky here and I got a big surprise today. Now I'll give you a hint. You can see behind me, that's my landing pad. But look at what I got right here, man. This is the DJI Mini 4 Pro. At the time of filming this video, this is the most current, in my opinion, potentially going to be the best drone that DJI has released to date. Now this little doohickey right here, I took off when I updated the firmware and charged it. I'm gonna post a separate video showing you how to remove and how to reattach this piece. This piece better protects the propellers while you're very small and lightweight drones in transit. So I'm gonna put that over here on the landing pad. It is worth mentioning I am in a safe and responsible location. So uh, you trolls out there be like, man, where are you? Are? Where are you? And this, that, and the other. I, I'm in a safe and responsible location. As I mentioned, I've updated my firmware, like all of my videos, and be sure to subscribe and ring that bell if you haven't already. I go through this in a very no-nonsense fashion. I mean, I have no expectations when I come out here. Now, due to my awesome success with DJI series of drones, all the way from Phantom 1 through present, subscribe and check out all my older videos, I've developed a reasonable degree of trust and confidence that the drone will perform exceptionally well. So hopefully this Mini 4 Pro is no exception to that rule. Now this is my first time flying. So, you know, as I mentioned, I've updated my firmware. I'm in a safe and responsible location. I'm gonna take off my camera. This is a great radically improved design here. Now, if DJI would take the time to make this bright orange or bright yellow, it'd be so much better because it would be a visual reminder, hey man, don't fly with this attached. Because since it is kind of transparent, you know, one might think, oh, I'm gonna leave that on the drone, and that's not the case. They still need to do that. DJI, I know you're watching, please consider that. Small things, small things, man. So, we're going to unfold the drone. If you've seen the previous uh, DJI Mini drones, very similar. The build quality of this to be so small and so lightweight is exceptional. Now, if you put the larger battery in here, which I don't have, I've got the, small, the, the smallest capacity battery, which we're gonna test that in the field test. The battery life is completely charged, but uh, if you add the larger battery, which is available, you will increase the weight. But this, this drone as it sits right now is super lightweight. You may have noticed that I went with the standard controller, and I'm gonna talk about that here in a second. Uh, not gonna turn this on yet. And I don't know if that's the case with the Mini 4 Pro, but with pre previous Mini series, it would often get too warm if you let it sit there running before you took off. And that's, that's not a design flaw, that's just due to the ultra lightweight nature of the drone. And you know, it kind of cools itself while it's, while it's flying. So these right here are the little sticks. I'll screw these in the controller very, if you've flown the previous, well, previous mini drones or the other current uh, reference DJI drones, you're probably familiar with this. You screw your sticks in. Uh, this right here, since I will be using, and that's what I was gonna talk about the controller, I didn't go with the controller with the integrated screen. Number one, I felt that the price point of this drone was way too high. I'm not saying it's not a good drone, I just felt the price point was way too high, so for that reason, I went with this controller. Also, I've got a an iPhone 15 Pro. This is the most current model iPhone. So I'm like, why don't I just use my iPhone, save a little bit of quid, save a few bucks, and not get the fancy controller. I'll just stick my iPhone on that. But the way that, uh, and this iPhone, by the way, is the first iPhone with USB-C is in Charlie. This drone, Mini 4 Pro, and by the way, you can expand this video's description and click the link there to find where to order it online, the various versions. If you want the one with the screen, I've got that one linked there too. But this did come with the USB-C. It's USB-C on controller end. It's USB-C here, but they also included the USB-C to Lightning, which Lightning no longer works with my iPhone because iPhone 15 Pro uses uh, USB-C as in Charlie. So I'm turning the controller on. We're gonna turn the drone on. Also, I did insert, uh, don't forget your micro SD card. I did insert my micro SD card. 
I formatted my micro SD card, so all of that is done. And as previously mentioned, the controller and the drone both are completely charged, and the firmware has been updated. So we're uh, we're gonna get we're gonna get right into this funness here, man. So, like always, and I've, I'm using uh, for this first flight, I'm using video. And I'm going to use uh, just the settings so you know what I'm using. Uh, for the video, I am using H, H, H265 coding format. Color is normal. And the uh, auto uh, anti flicker is auto ESC error. Unable to ESC error repairs required. Huh? Huh? ESC error? I doubt that. We're we're going. This this is not. I'm not making this up. Let's see if you can see that there in the camera. ESC error. Surely not. Surely not. Okay, we're gonna power it off and back on before we panic. And this is not planned, by the way. This this legitimately occurred. Y'all know I love DJI. And it, like I said, this is my first flight. So, I mean, there's a possibility that things just need to be calibrated. That's normal. Uh, but it is quite interesting that... Uh, that okay, home point updated. We're good now. We're good. I... Like I said, don't panic, man. Just be cool. Be calm. Remain collected in the mind. Be safe. Okay, so with this, to give you an idea, I've got 128 gig micro SD. With this video setting, 4K 30. And by the way, I can change that. So down here, I can change the video setting. So I had it on 4K 3.0. Let's go ahead and bump it up to 4K 60. So at 4K60 with that 128 gig micro SD, I'm looking at about two hours and one minute, 37 seconds of recording time. So that's a lot. So with that being said, you may save a little bit of dollars, a little bit of bucks, a little bit of quid, whatever you want to call it, and just go with a smaller micro SD card. Because I mean, that's, that's a lot of recording time. So we're going to go ahead within the app. I am in video mode. Within the app, I'm going to hit record on the drone. The drone is recording. Uh, we are going to take this to a safe and responsible altitude. Propellers are going. Listen how quiet that is. Man, that is quiet. I am excited to hear how quiet it is once we get airborne. Oh my gosh. I am not making this up. I am not making this up, man. Listen to how quiet that sucker is. We'll bring it closer to the camera here. Man. You can hear that chirping. That's my obstacle avoidance. I'm going to shut my trap. how quiet that is. That is so quiet. The most quiet drone I've ever flown. The quietest drone I've ever flown, bro. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's accelerate rapidly. We're in normal mode. Even a rapid acceleration. That thing is still quiet. Wow. Pay attention to the video stability. The video color. I am making a rapid left movement. And now I'll make a rapid movement to the right. Noticing the video stability. You're seeing that. I'm seeing it through FPV screen. 
but I want you to share your observations. I am turning left and right as I go in reverse. I'm gonna do a rapid ascent. Safe and responsible altitude. I'm not gonna go high, I'm just gonna to go to 150 feet AGL, 150 feet above ground level. Super quiet, obviously maintaining visual line of sight of the drone to be safe and responsible. I am the drone evangelist, and as I've mentioned within previous videos, safe and responsible drone use should always be paramount. You know, don't get out here and be a fool. It can be very dangerous. And also for other people in the hobby, it's, it's, it's horrible. Because if you're irresponsible, then it paints this hobby in negative light. And we don't need that. We need drones to be able to continue to evolve. We need drones to be able to um, be flown and people like you and myself have fun with and, and not worry about all the, you know, the less than responsible people that may have gotten their hands on drones. You be a drone evangelist. You preach safe and responsible drone use with your actions every time you fly. You are a fellow drone evangelist. So spread the positive message. This thing handles like a boss. This thing is battery life. We're still at 87%, man. And I've been recording video with this drone for for three minutes and 40 seconds. I mean, this is this is absolutely phenomenal to see something that is so small and so lightweight. And I am, you know, with this being in 4K60, 4K60 frames per second, I'm super excited to uh, to see what the video quality looks like once I've downloaded it, once you're watching it along with me on YouTube. We're gonna go ahead and put this down here because I wanna do, I've got one battery right now. Look at how well that handles. Nice. I'm gonna hit stop. I stopped recording. We're gonna turn the drone off. I'm gonna turn the controller off because now that you've seen footage from the DJI Mini 4 Pro's first flight, I want you to share your honest feedback down below. What do you think the video quality looks like? What does the video stability look like? Is there anything you don't like? Comment below, tell everybody. And what do you wanna see within my upcoming DJI Mini 4 field test videos? I mean, this is obviously just my first flight. Hey, hey don't worry, there's gonna be hundreds of DJI Mini 4 Pro flights here. So subscribe, ring that bell, and check out my DJI Mini 4 Pro video playlist. But in the spirit of drones, I always like to do the first flight. I don't approach any first flight with any sort of expectations. I will admit that when I first powered that on, and, and this being the first flight, it's fine. I didn't panic. I hope I didn't uh, non-verbally suggest that I was worried. Maybe I did. You know, maybe you caught my concern on camera, but all I did, I remained calm. I powered the drone off. I powered it back on, and the air was gone. So that was that was just one of those things that anytime you know a piece of technology has been used for the first time, there may be some calibrations that need to take place. Speaking of calibrations, you may have noticed, and especially if you subscribe and check out my older videos, especially DJI Phantom One, and uh, you know back in the days. If you look at a lot of those videos, you'll notice I had to do the little dance in the field and calibrate the drone and spin it around and all of that. I never calibrated this drone. This was, this was out of the box. I updated the firmware on my high-speed Wi-Fi before I came to the field and everything was up to date, but I never calibrated it. So the flight that you just saw, my first DJI Mini 4 Pro flight, that was just after a firmware update, never a calibration. So that is a testament to the evolution of drones. All of the performance enhancements that DJI is injecting into their new sauce. And this sauce that they put into this, I mean, after the first flight, I'm thrilled. The thing that my key takeaway from the first flight, you know, the handling, the user experience, it was exactly what I've grown to appreciate and respect and expect rather from DJI. So there was nothing different there. 
what caught me by surprise was how quiet the drone was. I mean, even, you know, in a hover, it was hardly even audible. I mean, you can hear it, you'll hear it on the mic and I could hear it with my ears. But even when I accelerated at a high rate of speed, going that way, I mean, the, the sound, you know, it didn't sound like an aggressive swarm of bees like we've grown accustomed to with older DJI drones. So the quiet thing, and it's like, well, why should quiet matter? Well, it's actually a positive because unfortunately today, and I know hopefully you're a fellow responsible drone user and you have to preach the message, you know, be your own drone evangelist, spread the positive word, drone safety, you know, lead by example. But a quieter drone is actually a positive because it draws less attention. I mean, I'm out here, perfectly permissible place to fly. I'm being more than responsible, but if there's trolls, there's trolls in the real world. I've had a troll come out here, check out some of my older videos. They're not on the camera. I don't video somebody without their permission, but the troll that came out here and then called the cops and then I just hung out with the cops and you know, I wasn't doing anything wrong. The only thing I did wrong is that I'd, I had put my, uh, I had a truck at the time and I had driven it around and I wasn't leaving ruts in this really well manicured field, but that's the only thing the cop could say is, Hey, next time, you know, just don't drive your truck through the field. And I said, that's fair enough. I'm, I'm cool with that. So now I parked my vehicle on the side of the grass, no problem there. But the quieter nature of the drone is important because it draws less attention. You know, people are drawn to something because they see it. People are drawn to something because they hear it. And if you can reduce the noise level, especially this is so small and so lightweight, people probably aren't even going to notice it. I mean, they'll see a guy running around the field with a controller in his hand talking in front of a camera. Well, that's pretty much a dead giveaway. But I look at the quieter nature of the drone as being a positive. And that also, I mean, not that people are going to notice it, but even if they do, they'll be like, well, that doesn't sound obnoxious. Because there's people that will troll it because it's like, man, this sounds like a bunch of bees, man. I was afraid. The bees were gonna come after me, Zzz. You know, people freak out over anything nowadays. So I guess that would be, uh, you know, that takes into account the more sensitive types, which is fine. I mean, I, I look at it as a positive. So I, I'm very, I'm thoroughly impressed with what happened during my first flight of the DJI Mini 4 Pro. Again, first, this is my first time flying it, but I wanna hear your comments below because now what I'm gonna do, and I told you what battery percentage was remaining when I landed. It was in the 80% range, so I've got plenty of battery. I'm gonna go ahead now with this one battery before I recharge it and get a lot of other initial videos. I mean, I wanna, we've already looked at the noise, but I wanna look at the, uh, you know, some of the intelligent flight modes. I wanna, I wanna fly it in sport mode. Is it loud when it's in sport mode? That was normal mode. You know, let's do an audio test in sport mode. So I've got a lot more videos. Comment below, ask questions, and I'll work to post video responses to your questions within upcoming DJI Mini 4 Pro videos. And again, if you're shopping for the Mini 4 Pro, you can expand this video's description and click the links there. Like I said, I got the one without the integrated screen, but maybe you want the integrated screen. And I mean, it's the integrated screen controller is great, but I just wanted to save a few bucks and get this. But I'm extremely happy. I'm extremely relieved that I didn't encounter a catastrophic error that I couldn't get past. I mean, all I had to do is power it off and back on, everything was fine. Because I would have been very mad if I had something that had to be addressed before my drone would work. And that wasn't the case. Good job, DJI. I really like the acoustics. You know, how quiet this drone is. Very nice. Tell me what you think. Subscribe, ring that bell, and check out all of my drone videos. Not just my DJI Mini 4 Pro videos, but check out my drone videos playlist. Check out all my drones. I've been flying drones since DJI Phantom 1. And I've got them all here on my channel, youtube.com forward slash irix guy thanks for your viewership and as always be a fellow drone evangelist always be safe and responsible while enjoying a drone and share that drone safety message with everyone thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day Hey y'all, Captain Irix Guy here. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to subscribe. It's youtube.com forward slash Irix Guy. And ring that bell icon when you do to be notified whenever I post another video. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day.